Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Notion to manage your Thanksgiving plans. So I just set up a really simple, quick layout here for this video. So the first page I have here is your schedule for Thanksgiving. It's just a full page calendar. And if we scroll down a little bit here, I've added some examples. We have a mini Thanksgiving event at work with coworkers. We have a Friendsgiving on Wednesday. We're having a family dinner on Thanksgiving, another Friendsgiving and another family dinner. And if we click right here, I've set up another view. We have the list view here. And as you can see, we have all the days in the calendar and you can see the dates and times. And I've also added some tags here. I've added the general location for the dinner as well as the general time of day. And finally, if we click on to table, this basically gives you the more full and depth view of the data, of the data behind these calendar events. But no worries if this seems a little too complicated for you, um, you can just go back and stick to the calendar view. But yeah, just a really simple way to schedule your plans for Thanksgiving. I personally have some dinners with friends over the weekend as well as seeing family on Thanksgiving. So you might only do something on Thanksgiving or maybe you're like me and, you're, and, you, have, and you have plans over the whole weekend. So having a calendar like this in Notion can just be a, a really simple but effective way to keep track of your plans for Thanksgiving. And you might be asking me, well, why wouldn't I just use my regular calendar like Google Calendar, Apple Calendar? Well, the difference between those and Notion is we scroll back down here and click on an event. You can actually click here and you can just type notes. So, you know, say you want to add a task, go like ask my manager if I can bring a friend. And we can just hit the backspace key and we can just start typing notes, notes, Lots of notes, notes, but yeah, so you get the idea. Big difference between Google Calendar and Notion. All right, on to the shopping list, second page. And as you can see, I've set up three columns here, a shopping list for food, a second column for food specific to recipes, and a third column for non-food. Now you could use a database for the shopping list. Um, I chose to keep it simple here. Um, I really don't wanna be dealing with views and all that stuff. I just wanna have a simple checklist, check off things as I get them. Um, I did add toggle blocks to the recipes column. So if you're wondering what these arrows are, they're basically kind of like folders that you can open and close. I've contained all the ingredients for this recipe inside this toggle block. But yeah, really simple stuff. Just a great way to keep track of what you need to get as well as the stuff you've already gotten. All right, let's move on to recipes, third page here. And I've set up a database for some recipes for some things that I wanna make. And I've got the date that I wanna cook. I've got the number of portions and I've got some links here. I've also created another view for a list. Um, you know, if you want to just keep it simple and clean up the view, I know the table view can look a little, you know, too much like a spreadsheet. So if you prefer the list view, this might be for you. Um, and if we click into one of the recipes here, you can see that just like with the calendar event, I've added notes. Basically, I just copied a piece of the recipe from a website. But you never know, sometimes these websites go down, people delete stuff. Plus it's just easier if you want to um, have a clean way to view the recipe on your phone or tablet or laptop while you're in the kitchen. Um, I know a lot of these recipe websites can have some ads and all that kind of stuff and it just gets in the way. So yeah, really simple stuff. Recipes all right here. And yeah. All right, let's move on to the next page, which is the scrapbook. This is probably one of the things that most people forget when it comes to the holidays 
and that is making sure you document things, making sure you take enough pictures and, you know, take note of all those lovely memories. I've just created a database here with a gallery view, but in short, the gallery view is simply just a database view where you can see the thumbnails of images inside each entry of the database. So I've got some photos here. So yeah, all I did is literally just drag photos onto this page here and Notion will automatically use that photo to generate the thumbnail. And if you want to, you can move things around however you want. But yeah, pretty simple. And if you wanted to view the table view, basically every database view can have a table view and it just kind of shows you all the nuts and bolts in the background. But in this specific example, I just have photos. So pretty simple stuff. Don't forget to take lots of photos of your food. If it's good, maybe your pets, maybe grandma tells a funny joke, you know, make sure you document that stuff. All right. The last thing that I want to address in this video is templates. I mean, Notion has templates. They've had them for a while now. And I think if you haven't thought about it yet, or maybe you have, I think you should really take advantage of templates. Don't make this your new year's resolution. Do this, do this today. Do me a favor, create your first template in Notion. It's a lot easier than you think it is. I'm going to show you right now. I've created an empty page here called Thanksgiving that you're going to be able to reuse every Thanksgiving to save yourself time and energy, you know, setting up these grocery lists. The less scrambling, the better is what I always say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these pages that I just showed you and I'm going to drag them into this Thanksgiving page. I'm going to create another page. We're going to call it archive. And I always like to add a little bar there, make it look nice. And let's go back into templates and I'm going to hover over this. and I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut command D which just duplicates the block. And that's on Mac OS. If you're on Windows, it would be Control D instead. So we don't want to delete all the hard work we put into Thanksgiving for this year. So why don't we call that 2018 so we know what year it is. Go back and let's drag that into the archive. So now we know that this year's Thanksgiving page is safe and sound. You got all your data, all your stuff in there. If you want to go back, relive those memories, you're all set. But now we have a copy. I'm going to get that junk out of there. And what I'm going to do is, is very quickly just clean up the stuff in here that we don't want in our template because we, we want this to be empty. So you're just going to hover over everything, hit your delete key and then go to the next page. Probably should keep this stuff, you know, you don't want to type that up again. Recipes, we can keep that. We're gonna reuse that next year. Uh, scrapbook, yeah. Let's get rid of that. Make room for fresh memories for next year. Back out of there. All right, so basically we have a template here. So basically more or less we have a template here. You could of course get more detail here, add some more tasks, and add some more reminders and all that stuff. Um, but we're gonna keep it simple. So this is our template. And we're gonna type slash template button. And all you gotta do is drag this in here. We don't need that task. We can get rid of that. Um, and we'll call this Thanksgiving. Clean that up. And all you gotta do is click on that close button like that. And that this is your template, literally. It's basically a page inside of a container. That's basically all it is. It's really simple. So now let's pretend it's already been a year. It's 2019, time went by, you can't believe it. And you're realizing that 
you know, you kind of forgot how close Thanksgiving was coming up. Well, have no fear. You have this template already set up from last year. All you got to do is click on that plus button and boom, there is your new Thanksgiving template for the new year. And of course, you can add 2019. Go back out of there. And yeah, here is this is your this is your template. Like you're good. Like we can move this over here now and like boom, there you go. Like you you're all set. Everything is in here the way we left it. Even the even the cover photo is still here, which is awesome. So, yeah. Um I mean, it's crazy. Like, you know, maybe you want to plan ahead. Just, you know, just keep hitting that button. You know, 2020. 2021. I mean, it's it's awesome. Templates, you know what I mean? And yeah, I know that I could just go like this and click Command-D. And I could keep duplicating infinitely. Like, I know. I know you can do that. We all know you can do that. But, you know what I mean? Templates. Come on, they save you. They save time. They look nice. You got the plus button there. You know, it's like a button. You want you don't want to be duplicating blocks like a peasant. You want to click on that plus button. You want to generate that template. But also keep in mind, if you want to make any changes, you can click on that configure wheel or cog as they call it. Click on that, and here is your page. And you can go inside. You can edit it. Go back out. Now here's the deal. I've only added a page here. You could, of course, add multiple pages in here. You could have tasks. You could create everything. Like, you could go crazy. You you really could go crazy here. You could do, like, you could just call this, like, holidays. And you could have, like, Thanksgiving and, you know, Halloween and Xmas. You could just go crazy. You could have everything in here, you know. You could have, maybe you want to just have a template button for the whole year, you know. And maybe you, maybe you want to throw in, like, all the holidays for the entire year. Put it all in here and just generate it once a year. I mean, honestly, it's up to you. But yeah, this was a Notion Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below if you got anything out of this video. I know I'm a little late on this video, but hey, better late than never. Maybe you'll use this video for next Thanksgiving. Maybe you'll use it for other holidays. But as long as you learn something from this video, I'll be happy with that. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll be posting a lot more Notion videos very soon. I have quite the backlog. I'm kind of working on a lot of things right now. I apologize for the delay, but more videos are coming very soon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss the next video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next video.